that he said in humans that we all love I just saw the trailer for the Inhuman TV show How do I proceed? Well, let's take a look But this is the Inhuman that we are getting on TV Okay, so <clears throat> can't say that I'm thrilled about the look and I have seen pictures of uh, these characters of, uh, before so it's not you know something new but I was hoping that by the time the finishing touch is put on the show the trailers will reveal that they did something more to the characters because just like um, Apocalypse, when Apocalypse was first shown on the covers of uh, the magazine, he looked god awful. Okay, god awful, purple um, and shiny, and the CGI did uh, slightly. They did improve his look slightly with the CGI in the movie, regardless, but. At first look with the trailer, I was disappointed that not much has done to improve and I can't say that I'm pleased with Medusa. The hair, the actress, I'm not very familiar with this actress that took on the role but if you google her name, she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. Um, and. I just felt that the look and the hairstyle is very unflattering as well as the dress that they chose for her character. Wow, not happy with that at all. And the lack of, outside of her hair, red, the rest of the show look, the color, the color palette or scheme that they use for the show look very flat not very vibrant at all so hopefully that will improve but black bolt why not put a mask on him okay i have a problem with marvel in general in the past many shows where they don't put the mask on the characters such as iron fist and once again, Black Bolt is just not Black Bolt without the mask, according, well, according to me, basically, it's my opinion, of course, I'm sure other people may differ, um, but, you know, DC has illustrated many, many times over that fans enjoy and like to see the superhero in a mask, so, there's something about Marvel and TV shows that it doesn't make sense to me that they um, chose that route as far as you know not use not utilize a mask at all. <sighs> Frustrating, you know. As far as Medusa, okay, the hair is not pleasing, and as you can see, you know. Look at the, the actress is I have here. I mean, I would keep her hairstyle the way it is. Just dye it red would have been just fine. And then you know when she used her hair and her power, then perhaps use the CGI to make it go crazy. But why? Why? Is there any hardcore fanboys out there that look at that? A hairstyle that she that, that they have on her and think it is good let me know I would love to, to hear what other people say maybe I'm crazy okay maybe I'm way off to say that that hairstyle is just horrible but let me know if I am in the minority <sighs> the hair was bad enough but holy cow what is with the shoulder pads and all that stuff this actress is very fit. She can easily sport a shoulder, 
a bare shoulder jumpsuit kind of costume skin tight leather you know she can do all of that i'm sure she would look great in that and make the purple brighter this dull purple oh depressing um you know it's it's it's, it's as far as the premise of the show it looks okay uh it sound okay um you know, it's too bad. It's, it's a damn shame that Marvel decide to scrap the Inhuman movies because the rest of the Inhumans would have looked needed some CGI. Okay, just the some makeup on the face is not enough. Um, so, just like any other superhero shows on TV, I will give it a shot. But I must say that the trailer disappointed me. I'm not excited. The job of a trailer is to get people excited about the show and I'm not sure how many people are excited about this show compared to the Star Trek trailer. I must say watching the Star Trek trailer look great. I can't wait to see Star Trek while I am already laboring at the thought of having to watch the Inhuman TV show. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.